We are here at the Regents Lake Banqueting Suite, Freedom 50 Charity Bikers, to finish off with their dinner by Abdullah uh, for the grand finale for the Freedom 50 Charity Bikers to have a celebration dinner. And we are met by all the bikers who have been shown appreciation um, at this Regents Lake uh, in this banqueting suite. And it's been appreciated all the way from Oldham to London, across seven cities in five days. We have an agreement that you pick me up, I'll pick him up. So, ladies and gentlemen, it's not that. I hope Let me start. For those who don't speak Siddhartha, say some more, bro. No, 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 no. Thank you, no. I'm very much sorry to be done the introduction. But, first of all, can I just start by asking our Freedom 50 riders, just stand up for a second so we can really honor you. Great to see everyone after such a long time. Um, first of all, I'd like to welcome uh, all the Freedom 50 riders, brothers, and sisters. I've seen Salema after many, many years, and it's good to know that you've been riding as well. And that's so we like to host such events, and we are honored to do that. So, one one club. Uh, is about celebrating good things in our community, promoting the positive things in our community and uh, the idea is we have 101 people in that group and we have a great network of people. So once again I would like to welcome every one of you who haven't been here before, welcome to Tahamdes, welcome to the East End and a big welcome to the Freedom 50 Riders uh, on behalf of the 101 Club. And it's great to see everyone here again. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful evening. Uh, Stop. We have here at this uh, dinner for the F uh, Freedom 50 uh, charity bikers who have joined here to celebrate their final abode from Oldham to London. I'm here with supporters who have come all the way from Luton and uh, would like to hear what they have to say. Professor Sanoar, really great to see you. And um, it's amazing to know that you're here all the way from Luton. Tell us, what do you think about this Freedom 50 charity bike riding all the way? They've done seven cities in five days. Tell us your thoughts. Well, Alhamdulillah, I'm one of the sponsors all the way from Oldham to Stoke, Birmingham. Uh, they went to uh, sort of, uh, what do they go? Coventry, Northampton, and then Luton. So we hosted them in Luton yesterday. Look, freedom isn't a one-day celebration. It is an ongoing celebration. And Bangladesh, having reached this uh, golden jubilee, uh, has done wonderfully. I mean, we are now from being a basket case, as Kissinger said, to the 34th biggest economy in the world. So we have done extremely well. We need to shout about it. We as British Bangladeshis have done extremely well as well. You know, we have amongst us MPs, engineers, doctors, surgeons, professors, we even have a high court judge, Saad Atakul Chowdhury. So Alhamdulillah, we're doing extremely well. You know, my mama here works for the local authority and again, we're all professionals proud to not only be Bangladeshi but also British at the same time. So Alhamdulillah, Brilliant. doing Brilliant. very well. Excellent. I mean, I know there was a really good um, reception um, throughout all of the cities, but I think Coventry stood out quite in a quite a quite a traditional way with all the Bangladeshi cultural thing going on. Um, Luton, I actually did see myself with the Bangladesh anthem, but as well as that, we had the United Kingdom anthem. That was quite emotional. I mean, how did how did the bikers feel? You know, in, uh, while while you were there. Well, it's absolutely right that we celebrate both 
cultures. Our adoptive country, which is the United Kingdom, and also Bangladesh, our home country. So that heritage will never go away. And we are proud and privileged to celebrate both. So both national anthems went you know, hand in hand. Thank you very much. And the commentary crew is there. We can see Baron Royce Ali okay. that, that is there. I'm going to pass the microphone Brilliant. directly on to Baron can we have, Royce Ali. Can we have Please you come over here, sir. Good enough, no, 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 no. I, I think you should come here. <laughs> we're, we're all individuals. So it's good to hear something uh, from your Okay. The better looking one, Virginia. Please, carry on. Please, He's the smartest looking Oh, yes. Well, that is, I mean, he is. Look at it. Yeah. We have a professor in his leisure way. Well, um, can you show my hair? So, so, please share with Vod Talk today why you're here. I know a lot of people have come to support um, this event, and it's been a very emotional event. Tell us uh, about uh, you know how you're feeling and why you're here. Freedom 50 is, I think, is everybody's heart and mind. Nobody in this room can forget what happened in 1971 in the independence and the liberation of Bangladesh. So everybody, some of them, they seen the war, the bloodbath, what was going on. A lot of people they gave lives to for the um, freedom of Bangladesh and liberation. That's right. And I think it's, it's dented in our mind and. Uh, and, and, and brain and every time we hear about Bangladesh independent we think that we need to celebrate and everybody in each and I'm from Coventry and some of my friends who was part um, Siraj Ali and Shahin Ahmed he took a, a, a role where we hosted the the cyclist in Coventry on, on Wednesday okay. and, and it was fantastic Brilliant. when we had a Lord Mayor we had a lot of support cross community yes. even from the other communities they said what is going on yes. so it was good to showcase our community well it's educating it's educating isn't exactly. it as well yeah. and uh, our heritage yeah. so when we were talking about it this is why you know we are doing this Freedom 50 they they got more involved and more interested Definitely. to know about it Definitely. and the heritage you need to share with these people so this is hence why we are here to celebrate the final leg thank you very much thank, thank you. you i have with me one of the main organizers for the dinner today for these charity bike riders uh, nazim rahman um, who we would like to hear how he feels about it hosting today's dinner event uh, I, I think this is a wonderful event uh, especially the riders uh, three of the riders are my long-term friends, so Asta, Kohid and Zamal. And so we've been planning this for almost 14 months now. Uh, obviously, it's just that we thought it would be nice to do something to bring the community together uh, throughout the UK. So that's the reason why we chose Oldham, Coventry, Northampton, Luton, and obviously London, where the majority of the Bengalis live. So, uh, Alhamdulillah, it's been good, and I mean, what I can just say is, if you guys haven't donated, please, still is time to donate. Yeah. To Do you want course. to say where they can donate? Right? Yeah, so we've obviously donated to the Bangladesh uh, kind of waterways, water crisis. Uh, there is a hospital that uh, Tohid's uh, kind of sister, obviously she's a doctor, uh, obviously been working closely in Bangladesh. So that's another church, uh, kind of money's going to go towards it. Brilliant. So yeah. Right. So, yeah. Thank you please very much. Thank, Thank you. you. I shall see you on the Wednesday. It is now. This is very exactly right. Um, I want to start with this event. I'm going to get I'm going to pick up on the first, most dynamic, most wonderful, most humble man I've met from Birmingham, Shell Ahmed. Shell Ahmed joins. So. <laughs> I have a very, very uh, special person here. He has hosted one of the cities, and we would like to know which city you actually hosted for this Freedom uh, 50 charity bikers. You know, right. Hi, please tell us. Yeah. Hi, my name is Shahin Ahmed. I hosted a, a city of Coventry, the city of culture, um, 2021, 2021, basically. So yeah, so we had uh, the Freedom 50 cycle through for a brief moment. They started from Birmingham and through Coventry to Northampton, they ended in Northampton. So yeah, it was really enjoyable and it was really exciting. We had the City of Culture and the City of Council 
got involved between the Freedom 50 and we also did the Bangla Festival. So we're combining Bangla Festival, the Freedom 50 reception and City of Culture. So wow. we are three things all in wow. one kind of wow. thing. So how, did the, how did the bikers feel by the time they got to Coventry? Uh, obviously, they were, they were halfway through between but Birmingham and Coventry is about 20 miles, so it was okay for them. But the rest of the leg was kind of, uh, yes. well, kind of, but it, they did it anyway. But when they came to Coventry, I think we lifted their, their you know, excitement to race to Northampton. Yes. So we really uh, gave them a warm reception. We had like singers and dancers as well there. So yes. that really gave them a really boost. A little bit of a motivation, motivation to carry on. Well. Really. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
LT has been coming, yeah? He's been recently appointed, what is it, Deputy Lord Lieutenant of Greater Manchester? Absolutely. Fantastic. You know, um, I am here today because of one person, one person only, and that's Aftabar. Um, ever since, I've known him since I was about 10, 11 years old. I was a bit of a way way kid. Uh, been up to the job and just that. Uh, all sorts of uh, voluntary work, charity work. And uh, I became a volunteer and he gave me some training, uh, directed me. He's been my mentor for the last 25, 30 odd years. He's still 22 by the way. <laughs> but uh, he's been an inspiration in my life. And I am here today simply because of after by here. I have jokes with him, I have a lot of with him. Cycling isn't my thing. I came here because he had a vision, he had an idea, and I said, no, I said, no let's do it. Yeah? And thank you very much for this. So Abdel, um, we're at the final war finale here with the cyclists who have cycled all the way from Oldham to London across seven cities in five days. Celebration dinner. Tell us how this is going. I can tell you they're, they're excited, they're, they're very proud of what they've done and more importantly we as a British Bangladesh community we are delighted collectively you know a lot of them were never cyclists before have probably done the odd five miles here and there but to do over 250 miles over five days it's been fantastic bringing them together has been also very I'm very grateful to our sponsors and supporters who have believed, who have believed in us believe in the community and I hope that is repaid by the community by using the facility and and the advanced technology provisions that they have but just on the fact that we've achieved something to, together it's a fantastic achievement um, as I said, is to bring global awareness about climate change, uh, to bring awareness around the issues of global warming, uh, and to inspire the generations to feel connected to Bangladesh. But a lot of people haven't been professional riders, so it's been an absolutely uphill battle to get to the finishing line. But yes, importantly, also to raise money for those children. But there are children in Dhaka, children in Bangladesh, for them it's an everyday struggle. Every day they wake up or sometimes go to bed not knowing if they will wake up. Um, so we need, we need to do something for them. And the idea of building a school that I hope will give Bangladeshi children an opportunity to go, become a global citizen. So that is also a good yep. thing. Now, thanks to you and to the, your team and Shah and everyone else for being here and supporting us. Thank yes, you. Yes, we're also here to support. Thank, Thank you very much.